Embedded systems, a highly diverse field that encompasses both sides of electronics, software and hardware. This diversity can often create chaos, leaving many aspiring engineers wondering what exactly they should study to break into embedded system companies. But fear not, this video is here to provide you all with all the knowledge you need from the very beginning to signing on as an embedded system engineer at top companies. So let us get started. Every job has a set of requirements and the field of embedded systems is no exception. With its diverse nature, embedded system jobs demands a comprehensive understanding of electronics combining both hardware and software expertise. However, as a facer, it is natural not to have extensive practical experience. In such cases, interviewers often evaluate candidates based on their fundamental knowledge of electronics and their problem-solving approach. Therefore, aspiring engineers aiming to work in the embedded system field must cultivate these qualities. In this video, we will start by exploring the hiring process and use that as a foundation to conclude the requirements for becoming an embedded system engineer. The primary focus will be on the knowledge necessary to secure opportunities in the embedded system companies. So let us dive in and uncover the essential knowledge needed to thrive in the world of embedded systems. On campus hiring, typically follow a four step process. First one is resume based shortlist. It is crucial to tailor your resume according to the required skills and in this video, we will discuss those skills in detail. Written test Companies often conduct a written test with no negative marking. To clear the test for embedded system roles, it is essential to be familiar with basic electronics, operating systems, basic soft C, computer architecture, digital electronics and gate level aptitude questions. Third one is technical interview. In this section, we will delve into the specifies of clearing the technical interview for embedded system roles. We will cover the key areas of knowledge and provide strategies to excel in this crucial step. And the final one is HR interview. The HR interview usually involves basic questions about why you are interested in the company and your preferred location. These questions can easily be answered and we will briefly touch upon them. In focus will be on formulating strategies for the second and third steps, which are written test and technical interview. Start with the basics. Network theory is a fundamental building block for electronics engineers. It provides the necessary foundation to understand advanced subjects. Begin by familiarizing yourself with the basics of circuit analysis, including KCL, KVL. Additionally, learn about various theorems and pay particular attention to RLC circuits. To gain a solid understanding of network theory, you can utilize gate coaching lectures specifically designed for this subject. So in this way, you can prepare network theory and it is a must do subject for qualifying in written test. Second basic subject is digital electronics. There are numerous valuable and free online courses available to learn from. Start with topics such as Boolean algebra and progress to combinational and sequential circuits. So some of the very popular courses are Digital Electronics by Neso Academy. Second one is Sujaya Sir's Lectures who is a teacher in Gate Academy. If you want a more practical perspective then consider the Digital Electronics course by NPTEL IIT Kharagpur and also the Digital Design book by Maurice Manu. Finally the third area to focus on is Aptitude. As an engineer, you are likely already familiar with fundamental mathematics. So following any gate level aptitude course should enable you to solve gate level aptitude problems. Please note that I have provided the links to the courses in the description for your convenience. So this was all about the first step. Now let's go to the next step. The preparation of advanced subjects. One crucial area to focus on for embedded system interview is computer architecture and organization. I recommend taking the course Introduction to Advanced Computer Architecture offered by NPTEL IIT Kharagpur. This course provides both theoretical and practical understanding of the subject. To supplement your learning, you can also refer to the book Computer System Architecture by Maurice Mano. As the NPTEL course is extensive, it is important to prioritize the following topics microprocessor and microcontrollers. Start with the basics of 8085 microprocessor and 8051 microcontroller. Other significant areas covered in the course include RISC and CISC architecture, pipeline and hazards, memory hierarchy and addressing, interrupts and exception handling, HA memory organization. Ensure that you have a strong command of these topics to excel in embedded system interviews. So 
this is like very much important subject for embedded system interviews and also it will be required when you will be doing your embedded system job so the next advanced subjects are embedded system design and operating systems so here are the some recommended resources for operating systems ravin sir's lectures freely available on youtube provide a comprehensive coverage of operating systems you can search for his lectures to access the relevant content second one is this course focuses on embedded system design utilizing arm architecture it provides valuable insights into the design and implementation of embedded systems you can find the course using the provided name and there is one more course from neso academy on operating systems watch few lectures from both neso academy and ravin sir series and decide which one resonates with your learning style Make sure to cover the following topics in your study: ARM instruction set architecture, device drivers. So learn about the device drivers, which are the software components that drives communication between hardware devices and the operating system. Device drivers play a critical role in embedded systems. Third topic is basic of communication protocol. Gain knowledge about common communication protocols such as I2C, SPI, UART, and others. these protocols are frequently used for inter device communication in embedded systems and usually asked in embedded system interviews and there is one more important topic from operating system that is process scheduling study the concepts of process scheduling which involves managing and allocating system resources to different processes in an operating system ensure that you dedicate enough time to these topics to develop a strong foundation in embedded system design and operating systems as we progress through the road map learning programming aspects is indeed crucial and it can be done in parallel with the previous step c and c++ are fundamental languages to learn and there are numerous courses available to help you get started here are the some recommended courses while going through above courses pay special attention to topics like data types loops arrays pointers memory allocation searching sorting and storage clauses these topics are essential for building a strong foundation in programming in respect to embedded system jobs so remember c is particularly important for embedded system so ensure that you complete these courses and get a solid command over the mentioned topics the final step involves fulfilling additional requirements that may be sought after by companies working in both embedded system and vlsi design such as qualcomm arm western digital and texas instruments these companies often expect candidates to have knowledge of chip design concepts in addition to embedded systems to address this requirements consider the following suggestions and the first one is opt for a vlsi design elective in your final year of graduation this will allow you to gain a deeper understanding of chip design concepts and hardware description languages such as verilog and other relevant topics by choosing this elective you can prepare yourself for question related to chip design during embedded system job interviews this way you can cover both embedded systems and vlsi design aspects without any additional effort along with all these subject to knowledge one should have practical exposure as well so while selecting your final year project or mtech thesis remember choose a project that focuses on microcontrollers or any other embedded system related area by working on such a project you will gain practical experience and develop skills that are valuable for an embedded system profile so this project will enhance your resume and demonstrate your completeness in embedded system Finally that's all you need to do from your side once you get an opportunity for the roles this amount of knowledge will undoubtedly boost your confidence and prepare you for a successful selection process additionally before the interview it is crucial to focus on topics specific to the roles and the company you are applying to requirements may vary based on the company but the basics will always be essential and will serve you well in any job role that concludes this video thank you for watching and i look forward to engaging with you all in the comment section